Testing, 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 one, two, three. <laughs> We decided to make a greener space for our school because it's nice to be able to be in nature, which in the city you don't always get as much of. When we have waste product from the kitchens, like vegetables that we're not going to use, we'll put them inside the wormery. Welcome to the repair shop. The shop of repair shops will give us uh, vital skills like how to repair basic things like a uh, bike over here. I really think this repair shop is going to help the um, school community. We're helping people fix what is broken so then they don't have to like throw it away and like buy new stuff. We're helping them recycle basically. We are trying to change how much food waste we are wasting a day. So we are trying to put in like compost bins. And then hopefully we're going to make the compostable food waste be able to actually get composted instead of being thrown in a landfill. Here is our social space and behind you is the kitchen for summer, for kids to eat outside, not just inside. We created this space so there's like more people can have a space where they're comfortable and can socialise with nature around them. One change we decided to make in the canteen was start, um, we introduced Meat Less Mondays, which is where we reduce the consumption of meat for students for a more sustainable life. We decided to create a nature garden. Over here we have tomatoes that we could maybe use in the school dinners, kitchens. Having plastic and waste in the earth is a bad thing and it's having a really bad toll in our environment. So to do this, we're going to be giving every student a reusable water bottle. So we decided to um, do a football tournament to fundraise for the plastic waste. Every time we see an advert, it's not supposed to like, send the message of truth, it's supposed to sell a product to us. So by being aware of that, we can change our mindset. And by also like, planting an allotment, it like, promotes teamwork and it also introduces us to other ways of spending our time. This Good Life chart has really affected me and has opened my eyes out to how we can, like, through our everyday life, help the environment. I think it made me have like a wider perspective on life and that you can do a lot of stuff to make um, everyone's life better. The difference between leading a good life and a life that's just full of, well, goods, I've learned how it doesn't always have to be about materialistic things and it can be about the things that really matter, like nature, spending time with your family, exercising, etc. If you are thinking about running the Schools Good Life Charter programme, definitely do it. Uh, it's such a good opportunity. Um, you get to create such good relationships with other organisations in the community um, and our young people get to benefit so much from the projects that they come up with, they develop and then they work on. Global Action Plan offered us a structure or something to follow that's measurable and quantifiable and it's been an absolutely amazing experience. Our students have benefited so much from the whole process. It makes me feel like proud because we, we made this and it's like unimaginable. I think it kind of makes me happier because I'm able to actually make a difference in my school and be able to help make my school better and more sustainable. And to sit down and just observe what we created and how it benefits all the students and the future students that's going to come just like makes you feel good about what you accomplished. Making a good life charter has made me feel like I can make a difference. It makes me feel like really proud and happy that I've like accomplished something really good and beneficial for everyone.